Good afternoon, viewers. This afternoon, we are looking at another topic in social studies for GSS2 that has to do with saving and ways of saving. Saving and ways of saving. The objective of this topic is for students to be able to explain the meaning of saving, ways that we have been saving in time past, types of saving, and at the same time to explain different types of saving. Now we want to know the meaning of savings. Savings refer to the process of keeping part of income and, and valuable, such as jewelry and certificate for future use. As a student, there is need for students to cultivate the culture of saving. Not every money given to you that you need to spend. You need to start saving little out of what you are giving. For example, if you are giving 200 Naira, you can save 50 Naira. When, once you start doing that, you, you are already preparing yourself for future. Also, it is not only money that we save. We also save our valuables, like jewelries, like our certificates. We save them, keeping them in a safe place for future use. Reasons for savings. The first reason for saving is to prepare for old age. Everybody will grow old one day. And when you are old, if you don't have this culture of saving, it may be difficult for you to enjoy your future. So that's the reason why you must have the ability to save. For future investment, maybe you are planning to have your own company or you want to go into a business, before you can achieve that, you must have that habit of saving. To accumulate wealth, if you want to be wealthy in future, then you must start saving. For emergencies, there are situations whereby in a family we have some emergency issues. If you have not been saving, to meet those emergencies may be difficult. For security purposes, we save so that our money can be secured, our valuables can be secured, to prevent wasteful spending. Some people don't know how to spend. Once they are having enough money with them, because they don't have that culture of saving, they can waste that money. To secure loan, if you want to get loan, maybe for a business or for something in the future, you must start saving with a bank. When you do that, you have opportunity to request for loan. For future personal projects, maybe you have the interest to build a house or to buy a car, you start saving for that purpose. If you don't save for that purpose, you will not be able to achieve that. This takes us to ways of saving in the past. Before the modern day, we have been saving. So people before the existence of modern banks, money and other valuables like gold, diamond, and so on and so forth, were normally kept through the following. Some dig the ground, that is in the farm or in the forest. They will hide that money there or whatever they want to hide. They will put it in a paper or in a nylon, then they will now keep it. Some, they use clay in the clay pots, so they keep money or their valuables inside the pot and trusted with money keepers some they believe that some people can assist them to keep their money so they give it to them because they trust them keeping money with relatives so some they keep their money with their relatives those that relatives that they believe in some keeping money in pillows you know like our our grandma our grandpa they have that habit, they will, when their children come to visit them, so they will just put their money under their pillow, keeping money on the roof. Some, they, they climb the roof of the house and keep the money there, or they put it in a bus 
and they keep it there. And some, they keep their money in bus. This bus used to be made with wood or clay. They were usually referred to as bank by little children. It is called Kolo in Yoruba land. This is where all gifts in form of bank notes and coins were normally kept until when it was full. So these are ways that people have been saving in time past. Now let us see how we save in the modern days, modern ways of saving money. Today, technology has really helped us and we are advancing every day. So we can save in the bank. So the first way is bank. This is the commonest method, almost common method of saving in the modern days. People save by opening a saving or current account in any bank of their choice. So today, if you want to save, you go to any bank. In that bank, you'll be able to save your money there by opening a savings account or a current account. Then the second way is through cooperative societies. In some working place, in a circular society, those workers there, they can have cooperative societies. So many people, particularly workers and traders, prefer saving their money in the cooperative society. This reduces the wasteful spending as they cannot withdraw the money anyhow. Also, they have the advantage of getting loan at very low interest rates. This takes us also to insurance companies. We are looking at modern ways of saving money. Through insurance companies, some people save for the future by buying life assurance policies. This requires payment of premium periodically over an agreed number of years. The insurance company pays a sum of money at the time of the policy mature so you can insure you can buy insurance and what have you then buying of treasury bills these are ways through which government borrows from individuals an individual can lend to government through this means and get back the money with the interest back after a few months so these are modern ways of saving then we also have buying stock People can also save by buying shares of co-tech companies and receive dividend later. Also, contribution. This is usually done by a group of friends in an office or workplace. Each contributes equal amount of money and gives to a particular individual each month. With this arrangement, everyone contributes mo monthly and receives a total amount of money when it is turned to collect. For example, we have 12 months in a year. Each of us can contribute like maybe 50,000. So you take number from one to 12. So the first person we collect, the second month, the second person we collect. So it will go around at the end of the year. So we we'll have been able to contribute certain amount of money and everybody will benefit. We also have daily contribution. Daily contribution, this is common among petty traders. They daily contribute a specific sum of money to a trusted individual who pays them the total sum contributed at the end of the month. The collector has a way of deducting his own commission based on agreement. So for instance, maybe you agree to pay $1,000 every day. So that collector will take the first $1,000. And at the end of the month, so the collector will now return 30 to that person. So these are ways that we, we save money today. So in this series, I think we have been able to understand the meaning of savings. And we have seen how we save in time past. We have seen reasons why we save. And at the same time, we have seen the modern ways of saving. In the second series, we shall continue by looking at the meaning of bank. Thank you.